It's the 1st of November 2023 and yesterday Windows 11 23H2 came out but on my unsupported system it's not finding it when I do check for updates. Now this is quite normal. What we've got to do is we've got to manually update it ourselves if we're running an unsupported system. If you've got a supported system, then it will find it in the updates when it's good and ready and it will download and install it automatically. But as my system is unsupported, as I say, I've got to manually go through the process. Now I'm going to show you a way of doing this on an unsupported system to get your Windows 11 bang up to date to 23H2 as of the 1st of November 2023 without installing anything third party tools without downloading anything from anywhere other than Microsoft. I mean, if I try to install the actual download from Microsoft as is, then it tells me here this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. And it tells me the processor isn't supported. The PC must support TPM 2.0. The PC must support secure boot. Well, it doesn't do either of those. So what I'm going to do is, as I say, I'm going to show you a way of downloading the files directly from Microsoft and getting it to skip checking for all those things so that it upgrades your current Windows 11 bang up to date to the latest version. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can update your older Windows 11 to a newer Windows 11 23H2, the most up-to-date version of Windows as of the 1st of November 2023 on an unsupported system. Now, first of all, before we carry on with this guide, you must already have Windows 11 installed. And also I would suggest that you back up anything important on this system as although the update is very, very reliable and touch wood, I've not had one go wrong yet. There's always a chance it could go wrong. And when upgrades go wrong, then you stand to lose programs, you stand to lose passwords, you stand to lose data. And when I say data, I mean your documents, your pictures, your music, everything that's important to you. So make sure before you continue with this guide that you've got a good backup copy of your documents, your photos, your videos, your music, your emails, and make sure you've got any software needed so that if the worst happens, you can reinstall it. Make sure that you've got the passwords to be able to re-download that software if need be. Make sure you've got your email password so that you can re-log back in to your emails. So once you're happy to continue, carry on following this guide. But if you haven't backed up or got all that information, stop this guide, do all that and then come back to it. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to open our browser. So I'm going to open Microsoft Edge. And once Edge is open, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar right at the top and delete out anything that may be in there. And then you need to type on your keyboard microsoft.com forward slash software hyphen download forward slash Windows 11, all in lowercase and no spaces. Pause this video if you need to jot this down and come back to it once you've typed it into your computer. So once you've typed it in and you've double checked it, you've triple checked it, you've quadruple checked it and you're sure it's correct, press enter or return on your keyboard. If you've typed in the correct address, then you should see this. So what we need to do is we need to scroll down here to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. Click on the little drop down to the right of select download and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO for X64 devices. So click that then click on the blue and white download now just below it. Then we need to select the product language. Now you need to ensure that you're installing or downloading the same product language that you've got installed. For instance, if your Windows 11 is installed as English United States, you need to download English United States. If your Windows edition is English International, you need to download English International. Same with Chinese Simplified and Chinese Traditional. Now, unfortunately, there's no way of finding out as far as I can tell which version of Windows 11 you've got installed. So sometimes it's just a matter of trial and error. Sometimes it will tell you it can't install it because it's a different language. Other times when you try and upgrade and you're installing a different language from the one you're upgrading from, then it may tell you that it can't transport across your apps, your settings, and in some cases your files. So if that selection is grayed out, 
and you can't import your apps, your settings and your files, then it's probably because you've downloaded the wrong language version. So try another language version. I know that my Windows 11 is English International, so I'm going to select that, click on that and then click on the blue and white confirm just underneath. And then we need to click on 64 hyphen bit download just under download Windows 11 English International or whatever yours is called. So as you'll see in the top right hand corner now, mine is downloading. So make a note of the name up there in the top right hand corner. Make a note what's up on yours. Mine is showing win 11 underscore 23 H2 underscore English International underscore X64. Yours may say something different if you're downloading a different language, but whatever's up there, make a note of it because you will need that in a little while's time. Now, the file to down to install Windows 11 as an upgrade is quite a large file. It's 6.2 gigabytes. So it may take some time. It says on mine, it's going to take about 43, 42 minutes. So I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once that has downloaded and continue on with the installation and continue on with the upgrade. Okay, so we're very, very nearly finished downloading and uh, we've just got to wait until open file appears or the numbers disappear from the bottom like they have. And uh, what we're going to need to do now is going to need to come out of Microsoft Edge. So click on the red cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. Then we're going to need to open any yellow folder on the desktop or on the taskbar at the bottom. So left click once on a yellow folder. Then we need to click on downloads, either on the left hand bar there or on the top there. Doesn't really matter which one you uh, select. And then what we're looking for here is that file name that I told you to write down earlier. So there's mine win 11 underscore 23 H2 underscore English International underscore X64. So move your mouse over that but click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And then you want to left click on mount. Now it may freeze for a few seconds here at this point. I've got the blue spinny circle. Just be patient with it. And then what we want to do is we want to hold down the control key or the CTRL key. The control or CTRL key is the key on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard towards the far left. So hold that down and then tap the letter A on your keyboard, A for all. Hopefully all the files there on the right hand side should be highlighted. Then let go of the CTRL key, hold down the CTRL key again and tap the letter C, C for copy. Then let go of the CTRL key. Now what we want to do is we want to click on this PC just there on the left. If you can't see it, scroll up and down until you do see it. And then we want to double click on C just up there. So double left click that. Now, if we've upgraded to Windows 11 before using one of my guides, you may still have a folder in here called Win 11, just like the one shown on my screen just here, Win 11. Now, if you've still got that folder in there, we're going to need to delete this. Right click on Win 11, not Windows, Win 11, and then move your mouse over the bin just up there and left click the bin. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a new folder called Win11. So click on new just up there, click on folder just down there, and then on your keyboard, just type Win11, press enter or return on your keyboard, and then double left click over Win11 so that you've got this folder is empty. And then hold down the CTRL key on your keyboard and then tap the letter V, V for Victor and then let go of the CTRL key. Now it's now copying those files that we just highlighted and copied across to this Win11 folder. This bit might take a few minutes, just be patient. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's finished copying the files. Okay, so once that box has disappeared, what we can do is we can click on the cross in the top right hand corner there to shut down this box here. Then we need to click on the start button and then type on our keyboard C for Charlie, M for Mother, D for Delta. Hopefully after a couple of seconds, we should see command prompt app. Move your mouse over it, click on the right mouse button and then this sub menu should appear. Move your mouse over, run as administrator, click on the left mouse button, and then the screen will darken and it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over, yes, left click once, and then you should get this black box come up with white writing in it. So you need to type in here, C for Charlie, D for Delta, space, backslash, that's CD space, backslash, then press enter or return on your keyboard. 
then type cd space win 11 backslash sources. So that's cd space win 11 backslash sources, all in lowercase, no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then type setup prep. That's setup prep, all one word, dot exe space forward slash product space server. So copy this down on the screen, pause this video if you need to, double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it. Once you're 110% sure you've typed in exactly what I've typed in on the screen, then press enter or return on your keyboard. Hopefully after a few seconds, Windows should appear and then it should say preparing. And then it gives you this box here, says install Windows Server. Now don't worry, you're not installing Windows Server, you're installing Windows 11 23H2. Now if you've already got Windows 11 Home on there. This will update your Windows 11 Home to 23H2 Home. If you've got Windows 11 Pro on your computer already, it will update it to 23H2 Pro. So here it says change how setup downloads updates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say not right now. The reason I'm doing this is because sometimes if I have this selected download updates drivers and optional features, it can pause for quite a while and it takes quite a while to upgrade. So I'm going to say not right now. Click on the next button at the bottom of the screen. Now it's checking your PC. It's going to skip checking the TPM. It's going to skip checking secure boot and it's going to skip checking your processor. As you can see, it now says we're now getting a few things ready and it's now showing you the agreement. So have a look through that. Make sure you accept it and then click on accept at the bottom of the screen. And now it's asking us to choose what to keep. Now, if keep file settings and apps are greyed out and you've only got the option of keep personal files only or nothing, then it's quite possible, as I said earlier, you've downloaded a language which differs from the language that you've already got installed on your computer. So i.e. if you, your Windows 11 is currently installed with English United States and you've downloaded and installed English International, then that is the reason why it's greyed out or vice versa. Same with Chinese. You've got Chinese simplified and Chinese traditional, I believe. So make sure that you've got exactly the same language to what you've already got installed on your system. Unfortunately, I can't find a way to find out what language you've got already installed on the system. But if anyone knows, please feel free to comment in the comments down below. Other than that, it's just a matter of going through different languages and trying one that matches your system. Also, I should say, if you haven't backed up your files at the moment, then now is the time to do it before you click next. Now, I've not had any problems upgrading to the latest version of Windows on any machines yet, but if things go wrong, if the power goes out halfway through the upgrade, then you could end up finding yourself with a system that's non-starting and you could lose your files, you could lose your programs, you could lose your email. So make sure that any files that are important to you are backed up, any emails that are important to you are backed up, that you've got any software to be able to reinstall it, any passwords to, in, to log into any websites to re-download that software, any disks you might need, and also make sure you've got your email password as well. So if you need to set that back up, you've got all that secured and ready to go. So if you're happy to continue, then move your mouse over next, left click once, and it says making sure you're ready to install, please wait. And it tells you there this may take a few minutes. Okay, so it's just asking us to confirm that we want to install Windows 11, either Home or Pro. That will automatically be selected for you depending on what you've already got installed. It's telling us here we want to keep files, settings and apps. If you want to change any of that, you can click on change what to keep. Or if you're quite happy, move your mouse over install, click on install. And there we go, it's now installing. Now do not try to stop this. Make sure that if you're running this on a laptop, make sure that your power cord is plugged in and switched on so it doesn't run out of battery. The last thing you want is for it to run out of battery halfway through this and it will screw the update up and it could cause you to lose information. It could take more than an hour to update. If you've got a particularly slow PC, then it could take more than 24 hours to update. In most cases, it's done usually within an hour to two hours on most PCs, especially with a solid state drive. But if you've got one of these older PCs with one of these large hard disk drives, the mechanical drives, then this is probably gonna be an all day or an overnight job or both. So it doesn't matter if it looks like it's 
stopped at any time, do not try to power off your system. Just leave it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it later on in the update. OK, so it's just finished updating and now it's logging me back in. So uh, it's just finishing off the uh, the final parts of the update. So it says, hi, getting things ready for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video because it's bound to be a few more minutes just updating and we'll come back to it as soon as it's finished this part of the update. OK, so it's saying it's almost there and hopefully there you go. The desktop should reappear with everything in the same place as it was before. Now, first of all, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to delete a few files here because we want to reclaim some of the space. Those files that we downloaded and extracted earlier are taking up a lot of space. So click on any yellow folder and then click on downloads just on the left over there or if you've got it over on the right as well, you can down, uh, click on downloads from there and then find that file that we made a note of this one here that starts win 11 underscore 23 H2. Click once on that and then click on the bin just up there and then click yes. And then what we want to do is want to go into this PC, which is probably down the bottom here, but scroll up or down if you can't find it and then click on the C just there in brackets and then left click once on win 11 and then click on the bin just up there. Say yes. And that's now deleted. If it's gone to your recycle bin, then what we want to do is really want to empty the recycle bin to clean that out as well. So click right click on the recycle bin, left click on empty recycle bin and then left click. Yes. And then we can close this window down here by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. Now let's have a look. Let's see if it has updated. So click on the start button and then type on your keyboard the word about. Then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see about your PC system settings. So move your mouse up to that left click once. And there we go. If we go down to Windows specifications at the bottom of the screen there, there you go. You should see your version now reads 23H2. Well, I hope this video helped. And if it did, please consider donating to this channel by hitting the thanks button. If you can't do that, or you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories or anything technology wise, have a look in the description of this video. We've got loads of links for you, including a link to my Amazon store where all the stuff that I've found great on Amazon, I've put in there for you to have a look at. Donating, subscribing or buying through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.